All right, hello everybody. My name is Troy Harrison Christ, and on today's video, we are going to be documenting the rise and fall of EA Black Box and the EA Skate franchise. This is kind of a history of the EA Skate franchise, so let's start with Skate 1. Starting with the development of Skate 1 in 2006, the team at Black Box began working on a physics engine that realistically resembled the natural movement of a professional skateboarder. The reason controls felt so smooth is that EA Black Box perfected the controls of the flick stick system long before ever touching the graphical portion of the game. EA Black Box was also on the cutting edge of controller response time. Uh, when you click the button on the controller, your skateboarder would do the exact thing that you told him to do at 120 hertz. This was kind of revolutionary for the Xbox 360 at the time, but EA Black Box managed to find this incredible system where they could have an insanely fast response time for the flick controls that responded to the skateboard order on screen. But not only were the controls and gameplay miles above the Tony Hawk franchise, but the visuals were top of the line for its time. Featuring an overly saturated look, uh, colors in Skate 1 looked very bright, very beautiful, and they didn't try and go for a cartoony look, they went for extreme realism and it extremely paid off. The city of San Vanalona was a massive open world featuring different city districts that all had their own secret skate spots. Areas to skate included the suburbs, the res, downtown, and old town. And, of course, my personal favorite, the mega compound, south of the community center, a little bit west of uh, uh, the res, the best place to skate, skate one, the mega compound. San Vanalona was a city we all loved to be in, and it looked amazing for its time. Fun fact, in early planning, San Vanalona was originally designed as a coastal city, but that idea was scrapped for the skate city we now know today. With fans hooked and EA president Frank Cabo sang in an industry presentation that Skate sold more copies than the latest Tony Hawk game, EA wanted to make a sequel. And a sequel they got. Announced in May 2008 and released at the end of January 2009, Skate 2 and EA had officially taken over the skateboarding video game marketplace. Although fans worldwide uh, anticipated the launch of Skate 2, the game only sold 1.09 million copies, a relative failure for AAA publisher EA. Set five years after the original game, Skate 2 takes place in the same city, San Vanalona. Your character gets out of jail for skateboarding related crimes and has realized that San Vanalona is not the same city. San Vanalona has been plagued with earthquakes and all that cheap real estate has been bought up by an evil corporation named Mongo Corp, who is very, very anti-skateboarding. Skate 2 uh, takes a much darker tone than the original game and is much often regarded as the dark horse of the franchise. Public reception of Skate 2 wasn't taken as well as the first Skate game. Most reviews dock in their score because gameplay felt much too similar to the first game. Even though some players were not a fan of the average storyline, Skate 2 brought many updates to the gameplay that the franchise desperately needed. For example, Skate 2 added the ability to get off your skateboard, which was originally cut from the first game, uh, due to being very difficult to animate. This game also fixed the camera problems by giving you the option to zoom out the camera a little bit. Also, story competitions got a lot more fun to play with more variety and the, the amount of competitions that you would be doing throughout the campaign. Also, multiplayer stability of Skate 2 was a tremendous improvement from the original. Um, even though sales were not too high, EA like realized that they had a loyal cult following with the Skate franchise, and the last Skate sequel was announced in September of 2009, and it was called Skate 3. If Skate 2 was the black sheep of the series, then Skate 3 is the franchise's golden boy. Set in a new city, Port Carverton, our skater is coming off of a terrible shark jumping injury and instead decides to be the biggest skateboarding mogul of all time. The goal of the game to sell a million skateboards. The story in Skate 3 was much better than previous games and even featured high quality cutscenes that actually did a good job of moving the story along. Skate 3 also added many features that had us wondering why they were not in the original games. Some of the changes included a much better camera that allowed you to zoom it way, way farther back than Skate 1 and Skate 2. Also, you had the ability to make your own skate company and watch it grow, try and recruit a team of skateboarders. 
Um, and also everybody's favorite feature, Create a Park. Skate 3 was also the first game in the series to include downloadable content and expansion packs, some being better than the others. Aloof Money Cup not being so good, Danny's Hawaiian Dream Park being pretty fun. Tremendous gameplay and amazing graphics combined for a game that many people are still playing seven years later. With all that financial success, why did we not see a Skate 4? Skate 3 ended up selling about 3 million copies, some of that due to the popularity of PewDiePie and Jacksepticeye's Skate 3 videos, which uh, went viral due to the games. Ragdoll Physics, everybody loved watching those guys play those games. They ended up selling the game a lot more copies than it originally did. So, with all this success, where is Skate 4? Will we ever see a Skate 4? Will we ever see a return to the beloved franchise? The quick answer is no. And I will tell you why, right now. On December 19th, 2008, EA told the public that they are shutting down EA Black Box, the creator of the Skate franchise, and merging them with EA Canada in Burnaby. Then, in February of 2012, after working on Need for Speed The Run, EA announced many layoffs in the EA Black Box staff and EA Canada, including most of the original Skate developers. Then, in July of 2012, EA Black Box was renamed to Quick Lime Games, and then very quickly dissolved and shut down by EA in April of 2013. To sum all that up, the creators of Skate are no longer a company. And most of the developers have left the EA Pair Company and have moved on to other video game companies such as Ubisoft. They never started Skate 4, and they will never make Skate 4. EA Black Box, the original creators of Skate, will never make Skate 4. If we ever got to see a return to the franchise, it would have to be EA getting a different company like uh, Bioware or something like that to make a Skate game. It would be a different development team, and it might not have that classic Skate feel that we all know and love. Hopefully one day EA realizes what a good brand they had with the Skate games and the cult following that is still there today. Hopefully one day we get to see Skate 4, but as of right now, my hopes are low. This video may have opened up more questions than it actually answered. Why did Black Box get shut down? Why did we not see Skate 4 even though the game sold very well? One day I hope to answer all these questions, but for now, all we can do is hope that EA will make Skate 4. My name is Troy Harrison Chris, thank you all for watching. This video was inspired by the Gamers Channel Rise and Fall series, the, that channel is spelled G-V-M-E-R-S, check out their gaming documentaries. I didn't want to sit around and wait for gamers to make a documentary about the Skate franchise, so I just made my own. Thank you all for watching, hit the subscribe button, my name is Troy Harrison Chris, see you all later. I'm out of here. Shingo, this is this is good. Yo, check this out. Why don't you do the, all the filming for us while I run the brand? I'm gonna give you this camera, but first let me just tell you a couple of pointers. Number one, don't talk too much. People don't like that. Okay. Number two, be very careful with this camera. This is the camera they filmed the Lakai video on. Uh -huh. Number three, don't touch the camera with sticky candy hands. Okay. And the most important thing, don't talk too much. Got it? Yeah, I didn't I, think... I say don't talk? And you're talking. This ain't the last you're gonna hear of me. I'm gonna be keeping tabs on you guys. I I know Reda said we gotta get to work, but I got the keys to the sickest skate park. And we just gotta check it out, dude.